You can swear if you want. <clears throat> you know, it's okay. Just don't choke okay. on us. Don't choke. Hi, I'm Maya Karin and you are watching Hot Ones, the show where we ask hot questions and we are going to be eating hot satays today. Our first guest is none other than Man of the Moment and Prime Minister in Waiting, Datuk Sri Anwar Ibrahim. Datuk Sri, so nice to have you here. We're looking forward to see how you'll deal with this challenge today. So the rules of the game are very simple. I ask you 10 questions while we try 10 sauces and uh, let's see if we can get through it all. And if you can get to the end, you will be crowned Malaysia's first spice lord. Are you ready? Yeah. We're going to start off with this sauce, lingam. I'm sure you're familiar with lingam. Yes. Did you know it's from our uh, home state? Yes. Nice and easy. So, mm, mm. we'll go slightly straight to the deep end. You've been detained not once, twice, three times indeed. You and your family have gone through a lot and you're agreeing to put yourself through more suffering today. Why? This is minor compared to the years in prison, the torture. So, um, I think I should uh, be able and prepared to try it out. Okay. After all, eating satay is not a problem. It's a pleasure. Good, good. On a more serious note, is the political struggle worth it? If you believe in it, you have a conviction that um, we need the change. Um, the country has been riddled with corruption, mismanagement, abuse of power. There is a commitment that you have to be, you have to be prepared to take the risk. Okay, let's try it. Mm. Mm. Can you feel anything? It's hotter. If it's too mild for you, I can put a little bit more on <laughs> you. I think it will do for this, for now. So then, um, if next year you become prime minister, you will be seventy-two years old. I thought you. I heard if, not when. Interesting. <laughs> Would you like to elaborate? Uh, no, because there was this understanding. Yes. Agreement signed, and I thought. Um, We'll honour that commitment. I think the country must move forward. Uh, Tun Mahathir has done his bit in terms of ensuring a peaceful transition and taking the initial measures. My task is, of course, to ensure that what has been promised will be honoured. We are now going to move on to the third sauce, which is the yellow bird habanero condiment made in Texas. Mm. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. mm, no, I can taste it already yeah. a little bit, right? If you ever yeah. need it. Oh, all right. <laughs> Speaking of social media, you stress the importance of Malaysia having free and fair media. And uh, but, what are your thoughts on social media? Is it a double-edged sword? What do you? Think? We have problems, but we have to acknowledge the fact that it was through social media the entire reformacy movement. Yeah. We won essentially because of the support, mainly the young, through social media. Mm -hmm. So I think we have to recognize the positive contribution and impact. Of course, we have problems because the very rich would then employ a team of cyber troopers. Yeah. And um, there'll be some nasty ones. I think we have to deal with it because if uh, you had opt for a democratic environment, you have to also accept the fact that there are problems and risks. If it is seditious or libelous, then you deal with it through educate laws. Uh, speaking of social media and Instagram, we're going to move on to the game. Um, and it's called Explain That Gram. All right. So what we've done is go through your account, oh your dear. Instagram account, and uh -huh. we've chosen three images. Um, and we'd like for you to elaborate and tell us a little bit more about it. So the first one we have is, is this one. So can you tell us a little bit more about this moment? Mm -hmm. uh, Tun M looks extremely relaxed. <laughs> um, you look happy. Respectful. Respectful. <laughs> Interesting. I do meet PM Tun Mahathir quite regularly, once a week or at least once a fortnight. Not necessarily issue governance because my position is to give him the space and latitude. I don't interfere. 
but I do share some of my concerns or some of my views and uh, he would attempt to clarify or explain or tell me things that uh, he considered important and critical. Okay, but you can't remember exactly what was going on, what conversation was happening? Or... This was some month back, but I think, um, oh yeah, I alerted him before I launched the DNA 23. Uh, I say essentially it's a continuation of the multimedia super corridor that stagnated for some time. And I think we go to the second phase now to create that awareness and ensuring that there's diversity, that you do not ignore the plight of those, uh, the poorer uh, sector of the community, the marginalized. So I briefed him before we launched that with uh, Minister Gobin. I see, okay. The next image we pulled is this one. Mm -hmm. And it looks like you're playing a game with your grandson, I assume? Yes. Is this at home? Yes, it's at home. Okay, I really like this game actually. How many grandchildren do you have? I have nine. Nine grandchildren, mm -hmm. wow. And you see them on a regular basis? I hope to be more regular than this uh, because uh, it's a great source of enjoyment for grandkids. Mm -hmm. They're very funny, they tell me all sorts of stories, football, new games, new cartoon programs. Half of them I don't understand, but I have to show that I have enough to appreciation. <laughs> yes. But they're great. Okay. So the last image we have is this one. This is quite interesting. <laughs> Tell us more about this. Mm. 